Hello guys, how is it going in this uh, post-Covid on lockdown? Today I have something special for you that I've been waiting for quite some time. Uh, in my guitar tone video I mentioned that I had bought uh, a neck to replace uh, my Fender neck. And it has arrived. I ordered this, uh, this neck back in the beginning of June, so three months ago. And it, it has finally arrived. And uh, I wanted to do the unboxing with you. So let's do it. Let's do it because I'm very curious, I'm very curious about it. I am very curious. I haven't yet opened it, so we are going to see it together. Well, the the box is a little bit mangled, so I hope the neck is not uh, damaged. And in my tones video, I didn't mention the brand of the neck. I didn't mention, but here it is. It is a warmoth neck, and I'm very, very stoked to install it in my guitar and see how it's going to look like and how it's going to sound. Let's see the neck. Let's see the neck. I hope the packaging was enough uh, to protect it from the trip from the uh, United States to France, where I live. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, look at that, look at that neck, wow, <gasps> wow. It is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but uh, I will leave some uh, close-up shots at the end of the video. I hope you can see it. So for the specs, the only thing that I remember is that, of, of course, it's stainless steel frets, uh, medium jumbo, the radius it's 12 inches on the beginning until 16 inches uh, at the end of the neck. The woods, but I think the woods are, are listed here. Uh, yeah, no, I remember. It's a reverse, as you can see, it's a reverse headstock because for me it looks way better than the regular head headstock. This red wood, you know, with the pores, very visible, so it's not, it's not sanded out, it's not filled in, so we can see the pores of the wood. So it's paduk, red paduk. The fretboard is Bocot. I don't know if, it, if I'm speaking it correctly, but it's Bocot. I don't know where it comes from. Both of the woods, I don't know where they come from. So, 22 stainless steel frets. In my guitar, in my Fender right now, I have 21 frets. So I ordered one extra fret. I was hoping to order a 24 fret, but uh, I, ha I have to modify the guitar to do it. So I didn't want to do it. So I, I ordered also the 10 mm screws for the, for the nuts, for the locking nuts. But I think I have to put some extra screws, uh, some extra holes here. Because in my, in my locking nuts I, I saw there are two, 
two small guiding pins. I don't know if I'm going to do it or if I'm going to order new locking nuts, but so we will see. 22 frets, as I said. So I, I said it wrong. It's 10 to 16 inch compound radius. Split diamond inlays. After I put the inlays in the order, I regret it a little bit. So I, I asked them if I could just remove the inlays, but it was already way advanced. It was not possible to do it. Uh, GraphTech Tusk XL uh, nut. You can see the carve is here for, for the strings. I will also leave a close up photo of this area. The frets, the fret work looks just amazing. So smooth. The fretboard, fretboard is rolled. It's well polished. My god, it, it is gorgeous. So the, the end of the frets are not uh, completely round, but it's smooth. The trusting rod adjustment, where is it? Trust, trusting rod, it's right here. I guess. No, it's here, sorry. It's on this side. So, why did I do it? The biggest problem I have right now in my neck is that the frets are just too, too small. As I mentioned in the previous video, they are 0.65 millimeters which when I bend, I just, I touch the fretboard. I cannot bend correctly without uh, touching the fretboard. I thought these frets were going to be higher than they are, taller than they are. Ah yes, we have, I, I, I ordered luminous side dots, so they are going to glow in the dark. So after three months and a lot of money, it was one of the worst financial decisions that I made because other than the neck itself yesterday I went to the post office to, to recover it and they charged me an extra 140 euros as uh, import fees now I have to install it I have to install it, check if the holes they match let's install it one very interesting thing that I noticed uh, with, the, with the new neck, as you can see on the pictures, is that it's way heavier than the original neck. So the original neck is 443 grams and the new neck is 648, so almost exactly 100 grams heavier. I hope this doesn't mean I will have a bigger dive of the neck. We'll see. What's up guys, part 2 of the video and now I managed to install the neck on the guitar. I gotta say it was pretty tricky, uh, especially because of the locking tuners that I bought. Uh, they are from Fender, as you hopefully can see here. Uh, but the issue is that, okay, I had the, the basic holes, 10 millimeter holes in the neck, the six holes, but the tuners, they had two pins uh, to keep the locking tuners in place and uh, when you put the strings I suppose it, the, the pins are to avoid uh, the tuners to turn on the axis but these two pin holes they were not of course drilled in the neck so I had to measure them position them and it was a very very big mess uh, to create the template in order to position the, the 12 holes correctly in the neck but I did it, finally, after struggling a lot, I managed to do it. And also, I had some struggle with the four holes that, uh, that, that fix the neck on the body. As you can see, they, they are there, the four holes. And the holes that were pre-drilled pre uh, in the neck, they were slightly offset, especially in the base, you know, uh, next to the to the bridge, uh, next to the neck pickup. So I had to enlarge 
the bass, you know, the, the, the lower holes on my guitar. They were 4.5 millimeters in diameter. I had to drill the guitar up to 7 millimeters in order for the, for the screws to fit correctly uh, between the guitar and the neck. But now everything is installed and it looks absolutely stunning. Stunning. Stunning, stunning. This neck is just gorgeous. Look at the grain on this wood. Look at that. And I forgot to mention in the in the previous part uh, some details. So it's not a standard profile. It's a wizard profile, very very thin, comfortable as hell. I have ne I had never played on a profile like that. I just loved it, much better than the original neck. Better looking, more more comfortable. Yes, baby. It's so much easier with high with taller frets. So much easier to do bends, legatos. Uh, vibrato it's another world i had no idea how much i was suffering to play on the on the original neck hopefully i'll be able to play better most more complex songs in the future so there you have it i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for the tone comparison video between this neck and the original neck thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one cheers guys